Welcome back to High Stakes. Today, we will be discussing the following NFL matches that is happening on Saturday, August 19, 2023. We will be providing our team, total and prop picks for the day. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. If you want access to our premium picks, you can check out our Patreon page. You can find the link to our Patreon page in the description and comment section below. Jacksonville Jaguars vs Detroit Lions. Take the Lions with the points. As a first pick. And here is why. In their first preseason game of the year, Nathan Rourke was 9-17 passing with 153 yards and a TD. Trevor Lawrence saw limited action completing 5 of 6 passes for 36 yards, with a TD and int. We all know Lawrence is the week 1 starter, but Rourke was amazing and is trying to solidify himself as the QB2. CJ Beathard was 6 for 13 passing with 80 yards. He seemed out of sync and uncomfortable in the pocket. A QB battle in Jacksonville if Rourke keeps playing like he did against Dallas. Cartavius Bigsby led the team with 52 rushing yards on 9 attempts, while WR Elijah Cooks caught 2 passes for 42 yards. In his first action since being suspended for a year for gambling, Calvin Ridley caught 2 passes for 21 yards. The Jags' offense completed 55.6% of their passes for 269 yards, and their running game has amassed 145 yards. In this matchup, Jacksonville enters with a 66% likelihood of winning and a 52% chance of covering the spread. The Jaguars have struggled recently as favorites, winning just one out of their last five games. Their road performance has been mixed, with a 5-5 record against the spread in their past 10 away games. On the other hand, Detroit has displayed a 6-4 record in their last 10 home games and an impressive 5-0 against the spread record in their last five games as the underdog. The Detroit Lions have made significant improvements during the offseason to address their areas of concern. They stand out as my top pick to win the NFC North and should be taken seriously as contenders. Meanwhile, Jacksonville is poised to assert their dominance in the AFC South, thanks in part to the rejuvenation brought by Doug Peterson. Anticipate that both teams will field their primary players for most of the game. Given this context, I believe Detroit boasts the stronger team and an underrated defense. Despite Jacksonville being favored, I'm siding with the Lions to secure a 2-0 record this preseason. Look for this game to go over 39.5 with ease, considering they scored 49 points combined in their last game. And here is why. If there is one thing both teams are good at, it is scoring. The last time these two battled, there were 54 points scored, but that was a regular season game, not preseason. Jacksonville has an OU record of 0-3 in their last three road games, while the Lions have an OU record of 1-2 in their last three home games. The Jags are out for revenge, while Detroit is trying to prove they are for real. The defenses are decent on both sides, but the offenses are better. Miami Dolphins vs Houston Texans. Take Houston Texans minus 2.5 points as a first pick. And here is why. Miami managed to make the playoffs last season with a 9-8 record, despite all the drama surrounding Tua Tagovailoa and his health. This won't be the concern for this preseason game, as Mike White and Skylar Thompson should be in line for a majority of the snaps. The main focus of this preseason for the offense is to shore up their offensive line and create more protection for their vulnerable quarterback, while finding more pieces to put around him outside of Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. For the Dolphins to create a well-rounded offense unit, they must improve on their O-line in the run game. They have serviceable backs, but a big name would change the complexion of this offense. News also broke on Thursday that star left tackle Taron Armstead had to be carted off after his injuring right leg at joint practice, and the Dolphins can only hope this injury does not remove him from the upcoming season. Opting for the Texans to secure a victory in this matchup is based on several factors. Initially, the opening spread of 3.5 points indicates a significant amount of betting activity favoring the Dolphins. Nonetheless, what appeals to me is that the line has shifted, removing the margin of a field goal difference. The Dolphins faced a defeat in their first preseason game, concluding at 19-3, while the Texans clinched a similar win with a score of 29. While recognizing that this is a new contest with altered odds, the previous outcomes shed light on how each team has approached preseason play. The Texans grapple with more uncertainties on both offense and defense, prompting them to adopt a more assertive strategy in their preseason matches. Conversely, the Dolphins have solidified a majority of their positions and are using this preseason as an opportunity to experiment with potential depth players for specific roles. With the Texans boasting a quarterback tandem that can effectively advance the ball down the field and their defensive backs quietly restraining long-range passing and significant aerial plays, my confidence lies in the Texans emerging victorious in this game. For our second pick take under 39.5 runs, and here is why. Taking the under in this game for a couple of reasons. 
Quite frankly I do not see both teams scoring 20 or more, as they both went under in their first preseason games. Both teams had a rather conservative offensive scheme in their first games, as they looked to experiment with new play calls and formations. Additionally, both teams used more of a West Coast style of offense to ensure equal share in their run and pass game, while working to pick up first downs. While this does move the ball downfield effectively, it is rather time-consuming and will make it difficult for both teams to score ample points if they are both running this style of offense. Both teams' defenses struggled last season and were notable defects for both teams, so expect that to be a focal point heading into this game. For these reasons, I am confident in taking the under for this game. Buffalo Bills vs Pittsburgh Steelers. Take Buffalo Bills minus 3 points, and here is why. The Buffalo Bills have started the preseason on a strong note, gaining 376 yards of total offense against the Colts. Their offensive prowess is evident in their passing game, led by Matt Barkley, who threw for 172 yards and two touchdowns. On the ground, Jordan Mims was the leading rusher with 23 yards. The receiving department had Kesey and Johnson gain a team-best 42 yards on three receptions. The Pittsburgh Steelers gained 340 yards of total offense against Tampa Bay, which was a slightly lower offensive output compared to the Bills. Mason Rudolph threw for 132 yards and a touchdown. Calvin C. Austin III led the Steelers in rushing with 23 yards and in receiving with 73 yards, including a touchdown. Defensively, the Steelers allowed 339 yards, which was just one yard less than their offense gained. The Steelers will continue to take a look at Mason Rudolph, Mitch Trubisky, and Tanner Morgan as the second and third string quarterbacks behind starter Kenny Pickett. One of the three will be let go after week two in all likelihood. Following a close victory, the Buffalo Bills have demonstrated their offensive prowess early in the preseason. Accumulating a total of 376 yards, they have showcased their ability to effectively advance the ball against opposing defenses, even when fielding backup and third string players. Notably, Matt Barkley's recent performance stands out, with him throwing for 172 yards and registering two touchdowns. This performance signifies his readiness to confront the challenges posed by the Steelers' defense, all while vying for the backup quarterback position behind Josh Allen. On the Steelers' side, a quarterback competition for the backup role behind Pickett involves three contenders. This scenario may introduce a degree of uncertainty, potentially leading to mistakes as each player strives to excel under pressure. Such circumstances could result in interceptions, which in turn provides the Bills an opportunity to capitalize and increase their point tally. Based on the current form and analytical insights, the clear choice here leans towards the Buffalo Bills, who appear poised to secure a victory with relative ease. As a total pick take over 42 points. And here is why. The Bills' defense allowed 307 yards to the Colts, indicating the coaches will be looking at other players during week two of the preseason. The Bills continue to have a few battles for positions during the preseason. Those battles include right guard between Osiris Torrance and Ryan Bates, middle linebacker between Tyrell Dodson and Terrell Bernard, and backup quarterback between Kyle Allen and Matt Barkley. Both teams have started the preseason with a bang, putting up impressive numbers on the scoreboard. The Bills gained 376 yards and scored 23 points while allowing 19. The Steelers are not far behind with 340 yards while scoring 27 and allowing 17. The first preseason game for both Buffalo and Pittsburgh finished over the closing point total. Considering the slight vulnerabilities in both teams' defenses with second and third team players seeing action for at least half the game or more, there's a high likelihood of both teams capitalizing on any defensive lapses. Given the offensive firepower on display, combined with the current form and statistics of both teams, the confident prediction is that this game will see a total score that goes over the 41-point mark.